is going to show that Reese Goss is the 2022 KHSAA 144 pound state champion. That's what the record book is going to say. We're here today to tell Reese's story. Reese has a high school career that could have a movie made about it, a book row, a TV series. Reese, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, kind of walk us through, how did wrestling find you? How did you find wrestling? Well, it wasn't hard to find you though, was it? No, no, not at all. See, my, uh, my mom's cousin Bobby was the first state champ at JC. Okay. And then my dad was the uh, first state champ at Shovel Clark. So wrestling's been a big part of my life and I just grew up into it. You had Bobby Van Hoos, 1992, 103 pounds, and I'm still questioning the validity of Chris Goss's 160-pound, 1991. They said he won it. Chris, you got to prove it. We are here today with Reese. We're going to talk about Reese's high school career. So, Reese, you start off in middle school really starting to elementary school I guess but you really start in middle school starting to compete for on the state championship level tell us about your middle school career um you know sixth grade I was really small I uh I, don't know, I wasn't always the biggest kid I was tall lanky you mm -hmm. know sixth grade didn't really go where I wanted to be um seventh grade you know I started practicing with high school and uh at that time we freaking had a really good program and had a lot of good kids in there that I was able to practice with so um, I got better over my seventh grade year that summer, and I uh, started on the high school team my seventh grade year, sort of varsity. So um, that really impacted my eighth grade year as well as I as I won in my eighth grade. So now, how did your eighth grade year turn out? I think I was forty eight. No, I was uh, never had a point scored on me, and I was never taken down. No, and how did your season end? I won it. I won it that year. So oh, okay, that's why I wanted to say he was a uh, middle school state champion his eighth grade year. So you started your wrestling career getting to compete on a high school level at Woodford County. Then you end up at Johnson Central. Walk us through for people who aren't familiar. How did you make the transition from what brought you back to Johnson Central? Yeah, so um, after, after my eighth grade year, you know, uh, me and dad and mom were all just sitting down talking. I was like, I was like, why, I was like, why don't I wrestle for Coach Matt? You know, they've had a lot of good wrestlers to come through here. So I was like, why don't we just move back there? And... You know, Dad's working at Toyota, so we made the decision for me to come back to live with my grandparents, and I come down here and I wrestled for Coach Matt in my freshman year. And if I had a now, for those of you who aren't familiar, Coach Matney is Jim Matney. He was the head wrestler and football coach at Sheldon Clark, where Chris Goss won the alleged state championship. Chris, you know we love you. And he, in 2004, Coach Matney come to Johnson Central. Um, I think Coach Matney was your god father yes, sir. and Debbie is your godmother is that yeah. correct okay so you come back you want to wrestle with or wrestle for coach Matney got some information here about your uh, your high school career okay. you regional champion individual in 22 21 and 20 three-time regional champion you play second your freshman year in 2019 you were a part of four straight team regional champions, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. The teams you were on for the state duels, as a freshman in 2019, uh, you won a team state championship in the large school. 2020, you guys come in second place behind a very tough Ryle team. 2021, team uh, state duel champions, large school. And then this year, you drop a very tough duel to a very very talented Ryle team so you had two teams state dual state championships and you had two runner-ups that's a pretty good state dual career as far as the high school state KHSAA tournament as a freshman your team finished second place as a sophomore and junior you guys finished third and then this year as a senior one of the team captains you come in second place behind a very talented very tough Union County team but we're going to talk about Reese's 2022 state bracket. First round, you wrestle Gunner Arnold from Ohio County. You win that by fall in 2 minutes and 37 seconds. Your quarterfinals, you wrestle Ethan Centel from Great Crossing. 
you win that by fall in two minutes and 47 seconds. And he ended up placing fifth. Mm -hmm. So your day one's complete. You've won two bouts by fall. You're here to make a statement. Yeah. All right. So the semifinals on Saturday morning, you win a decision, a seven to two decision over Glenn Mays from Union County, who ended up coming fifth. Now we're going to stop the story right there. I mentioned that Reese's high school career could be a movie, a book wrote about it, a TV series. We had a tremendous loss in the state of Kentucky wrestling community, a tremendous loss for Eastern Kentucky, a tremendous loss for the community of Johnson Central and Johnson County. But Reese, you had somebody very close to you pass away very close to a lot of people, but more specifically you. The reason you come back here was to wrestle for Coach Matney. And if you're not familiar, Coach Matney passed away in September of COVID-19. Playing football, you were on football team with him. Middle of the season, Coach gets sick. He passes away. Kind of walk us through, if you will, what was going through your head, if you can remember. I know a ton of emotions, but when – you guys get the notification, Coach Matney passed away. Uh, what was your going through your head, and where did you – because you were here to wrestle. You played football, but you were here to wrestle for Coach Matney. Kind of walk us through, you know, did you already have the mindset of, I'm winning the state championship for Coach Matney this season. There's nobody going to take it from me. Yeah, so – um, I was in school, and uh, I knew Coach was sick. Me and him were sick at the same time. So this was during football season, and uh, I was in class. And, you know, Dad takes me up more. I was like, you know, Coach ain't doing too good, blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, I said a couple prayers and went on to class. And um, I hear some kid shout across the room saying, check Dalton's uh, Instagram post. And I was like, huh? So I check it and I see the news and <clears throat> you don't really know how to deal with it at that moment. So a ton of emotions are just going through me and uh, I hear the football team get called out. So we go down there and I'm just calling dad and I'm just like, I was like, this can't be true. You know, this can't be true at all. So didn't really know how to deal with it at the time, but um, coming into wrestling season, I didn't, I've always had it in my corner, you know, mm -hmm. I couldn't think of anything differently. So um, I just, Coming in early into the season, I was like, I'm going to win this one for Coach. I was like, I know that's what he wants me to do, so I'm going to win this one for Coach. Now, let's pick back up with the good news. You are wearing a Kent State wrestling shirt, sweatshirt. You're not wearing that by happenstance, right? Yeah. Is there a reason why you're wearing a Kent State wrestling sweatshirt? Um, I'm currently committed to Kent State. So you sign your letter of intent to wrestle for Kent State – from what your dad's told me, several of the wrestlers on Kent State's current team was messaging you throughout the season. Hey, good luck. You know, win it all. Uh, all the well wishes they can send you. So, you've signed for Kent State. You have the mindset of, I'm winning this state championship. We get to the finals. As the movie script would have it, you wrestle somebody that you know very well. very well. You wrestle Gavin Androni from Woodford County, the school that you started your wrestling career at and come back. I know you and Gavin are friends, have to be wrestling all that time, knowing each other, keeping up now on social media. Reese is a TikTok star, in case you haven't. I'll link his TikTok <laughs> below. Uh, but you know you win your semifinals match. You know who your opponent is. Yeah. Kind of walk us through that. You Not only everything you've, you've gone through so far, but you're wrestling a friend. Yeah. Um, you know, always take it one match at a time. So I always kept that thought in the back of my head, like what if I do have to wrestle and blah, blah, blah. So we're wrestling. And I'm, I finally get to the finals. And, you know, I'm like, I've worked too hard this season. I'm winning this one for coach no matter what. So we get in the finals and, you know, it's just – it's a, it's a hard thing to deal with. I Me and can, Gavin's been best friends since third, fourth grade. He has a, he comes from a really good family. You know, they're like, they're like my family and uh, vice versa. But I don't know, it was, it was a hard one to deal with. I can understand that. Now, of course, we have Reese's video, The Good Thing, about a current state. This is 
on Thursday, Reese won the state championship on this past Saturday, so less than a week. Unlike the other videos, you know, with uh, maybe glitches in it or whatever, or even hard to find, there's a thousand views of this. So we're going to pull one up. Reese, you ready to do this? Let's do it. Let's go. Now, of course, when you win, you get all kinds of hardware. Reese, what have you got here for us? Uh, this is the sign they gave me after I won it. Now, uh, unless you got one of these signs, Chris, I don't see, I've never seen a 1991 state championship <laughs> sign of you. Uh, I okay, fur, further proof. All right, what else you got, bud? Uh, they come with the plaque. You get the plaque after you win, of course. Awesome. And then. I see this. Nice. And then it comes with the bracket. Bracket. So, yeah. And I'm sure, if you've not already, but maybe a year or two down the road, you and Gavin will, you know, let your kids see it. Hey, we wrestled each other. Here's the video, right? Here, here's the bracket. And that's, that's the beautiful thing about wrestling and doing this series is if you've not watched uh, Chris Floyd's video, especially his 99, you need to go back after this and watch it. He has a very emotional and just heartfelt statement about leaving your rivalries on the mat. There's, there's enough hate in this world. There's enough ill will. If you're wrestling somebody and you don't like them, whatever the case is, you're competing against them, fine. Leave it in that arena of competition. Don't bring it out into the real world where it can cause you real world problems. Compete, try your hardest, have fun, but leave the competition, leave the ill will you have inside the bounds of that circle. What else you got, Reese? You got one more thing here. Of course, it always comes with the medal. Comes with that big state championship medal. What's it say on the back of it? Uh, it says 2022 Wrestling State Championship, 144 pounds. 144 pounds. All right, you guys are seeing what we're seeing. The 2022 state championship held at George Rogers Clark High School in Winchester. Reese, you're in the red. Gavin Androni from Woodford County is in the green. You ready to do this? Let's do it. Now, bef before we start, though, before we hit the, hit the play button, did you, when you've done your face off, you're back, back, you're back in the, the warm up area, and you come out that you're, you know, 138 finishes up. Did you have the mindset this is just any other match, or what? What was you? Where was your head at about this specific <clears throat> match? Um. So after the face offs, you know, I put my he uh, headphones in, and um, you know, I try to block out everyone I could. You know, I was I wasn't letting anyone take this from me. Even though he's my best friend, I wasn't letting him take this from me. So, um, I just try to get all distractions out of my head and just try to focus on winning this match. I got you. Here we go. All right, shake hands. Good low shot or good low stance. Could you hear the fans? Could you hear the crowd? It was, it was silent. Silent. Now, in your corner, you've got your dad and you've got Blake Gamble. Kudos to Blake Gamble for stepping up. Blake and his dad, Darren, for stepping up. Coaching the team after Coach Matney passed away. Blake won the uh, Wrestling Official Association um, Coach of the Year. He's trying to trip you. Go out of bounds. Good takedown defense. Yeah. Very good takedown defense. That's a state championship level takedown defense. It really is. Me and him wrestled the exact same. We matched up perfectly together. It's like a mirror. Yeah. I mean, so what was your go-to takedown? What is your go-to takedown, I should say? Um, in this match, I knew he was really offensive, mm -hmm. and I knew he liked to brawl a little bit. So um, I know it's bad to say, but I was kind of a defensive wrestler hey. in this. But um, You got to do what you got to do. Low singles, and I had a little shuck that I mm -hmm. liked to hit. So in case I didn't. I guess I did tie up with them, but I try to keep distance and try to keep out of hand fight as much as I could. Right. And if you hear any outside noise, we're inside the football and wrestling practice room. Uh, middle school season still going on, so we, like I said, if you hear outside noise, that's what it is. What are you? You're, you're on the defense. You know his offense pretty well. What did you think he was going to try to throw at you? Um, I knew he liked to club the head a lot, a lot of brawling, um, and low singles. See, right here we tied up, and I just went to a Russian. Um, right. 
a new um, a mat position. And, there we uh, go, we're out. Yeah. Okay, we're neutral. 17 seconds left. This is a fast first period. Yeah. Very fast. It feels fast. Let me say it like that. Yeah. All right. You haven't really overextended yourself. That's good. I mean, we're going to the second period. We're tied 0-0. Zero, zero. I remember Dad saying, you know, if he don't score or if he don't score, he don't score. So. Right. So you win the toss, you defer. Of course, he's probably going to take down. What's your go-to breakdown? Did you know he was going to try it? Like, you know, he was good at something. You <clears throat> wrestled him so many times. Yeah, a spiral ride. A spiral ride with everyone. That's, mm -hmm. all, that's all I ran, a claw. Um, I always had a claw lift that I tried to uh, hit as soon as they stand up, but, you know. Right there, good. You're keeping that. Okay, he gets his reversal. Blake was kind of upset that I chose defer, but um, I should have chose bottom, but. Did you just feel, okay, I need to give up this reversal. Let's fight another, you know, fight another <clears> round <throat> here. Let's not keep going. It could turn into something bad. Yeah, so uh, this whole season, I haven't really, like, tested my gas tank that much. Mm -hmm. So um, pacing myself was the biggest thing I got this you. match. Talking yeah. about being long and lanky, this is, it's paying off right here. <laughs> I mean, it really is. A good takedown defense right here. Boom, we got a bounce. Try to get height right there. Yeah. But. So Dad was saying something. I couldn't even hear what he said. I was too focused. I understand. <laughs> it happens. Boom. This is an advantage right here, being long and lengthy. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's hard to bring me down. He tries to lift. You block it really well. Gives up his one. Okay, so we're you're down one, two to one. I can, I, I can remember Cody, uh, their coach, saying, lots of fakes, get them off balance, lots of fakes. Mm -hmm. But I knew when we tied up right here, I tried to duck, and uh, it kept pushing into me. I got him on his toes. Right. That's when I hit this shuck. Boom. Good. So now you get your two. You're up three to two. That's something kids... You need to learn the, the rules of wrestling. What is a takedown? What isn't a takedown? That was a very veteran move throwing that leg in, getting that, like that Merkel. Mm -hmm. uh, now he, of course, he gets his one right here. We're back 3-3. Three, three. Ten seconds left in the match, roughly. I knew if anything was going to go wrong, my mat position. I wrestled on the outside of the mat mm -hmm. a lot. So. And that's, I mean, that's a, that's a veteran move. That's a senior move. A lot of experience. So you're going to take down your choice. You're taking down. <laughs> I remember right before we started right here, I told Dad, I said, just wait. Just wait. And uh, the last few seconds, I was going to try to escape. He had me right on my hands. He was on yep. his toes the whole time. Mm -hmm. Had me on my hands, a lot of pressure. You're talking about your gas tank. I mean, it's a state championship. You got, you know, how, how many, you know, I don't know if it's a thousand, maybe probably close to a thousand people inside that gym. I mean, you're the, you are the focus of the entire state of wrestling in Kentucky right now. Where's your gas tank? Is it on E? Are we on half tank? What are we looking like? Right here, just, uh, I don't know. We're probably about, <laughs> probably about a quarter of a tank. A quarter of a tank? <laughs> yeah. I understand. Uh, no one had, I haven't really wrestled out of the first period all year. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is was, this was a big test for me. You got two exceptional officials. You got uh, John Sean here, that's the head official, and you've got Mike Ford assisting. So you got really good officiating. That's not going to come into play. Two, two, good, they're two good friends of mine as well. He kept trying to like, come over, over top of that mm -hmm. cradle over top a lot. And I was waiting for her arm to escape so I could get zony, but right. he had that back leg hooked and he was pinching with the, with the right here is when the boot came in. Yep. This is when I got kind of nervous. But as long as I could uh, hook my inner thigh or my stomach, I knew yep. I wasn't pulling his hand out. That's, that's, that's experience, that's good coaching. Trying for the power half. Did you feel yourself possibly going over? <clears throat> um. 
my hip started to turn a little bit, but I remember like scooting back, pushing back with his hand and get my hip under me. Right. But uh, he had a, had really heavy hips, mm -hmm. really heavy hips. But I knew if I could keep my head off the mat, I was gonna be okay. Yeah. You know, try to windmill right here. Do you have any cognition of how much time is left? Um, In the no, not yet. I remember I could, I could hear Dad at this point going, let's go, let's go, uh, 15 seconds left. All right, so we're tied three to three at the end of regulation. We're going to get back to the line here, and I'm going to stop it. So we're lined up here. One minute on the clock. Yeah. One minute to validate everything you've ever done in wrestling. First takedown wins. Nobody's been hit for stalling. Nobody's had any cautions. <clears throat> it is the first takedown. What is in Reese Goss's mind? What, just walk us through these 60 seconds are going to validate your whole wrestling career. Now, you know, it's, it's weird. I was talking to one of my buddies right before the match, right before I started warming up, and I was like, you nervous? And he was like, yeah, a little bit. You nervous? I was like, yeah, it's my first time. He goes, it's fine. I said, why is that? He said, because everyone in this room right now is nervous. And I said, yeah, I said, these big matches, as soon as you step on the mat and they blow the whistle, everything's gone. I was like, you're not nervous anymore. And, uh, you know, I had still had, I was still nervous first, second, third period. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we got, oh, I got up for overtime, everything was gone. And I knew I was... I was all right on my feet, and uh, I knew I could take him down already. And uh, you know, I just I just felt free. I felt loose. So now, your dad's in the corner. Blake Gamble's in your corner. You have you said earlier in the video, Coach Matney's always in your corner. There had to be some piece of advice that he gave you about overtime. <clears throat> was it going through your head? This is what you know. I'm here, state championship. I remember coach in passing, I remember as a freshman coach said this in practice or at, you know, at watching wrestling on TV or whatever, coach said something about overtime. Did anything like that come to you or were you just going off pure instinct right here? Um, so right before, right before we started the first period, right before we shook hands, dad looked at me and I was pacing back and forth and dad looked at me and goes, hey Reese, and I turned around and he had coach's obituary mm -hmm. right on my sweatshirt. And, um, that hit me hard. That hit me with a lot of emotions. So, as soon as as soon as I looked back and we were in overtime, I just knew myself. I'm not losing this match. I was like, I'm not losing this match, and everything. My gas tank felt fine. I I wasn't out of breath and nothing. I I felt fine. So, um, it just really gave me a drive. All right, here we go. One minute. Let's see what happens. Shoots in. A low single. Good defense on your part. Good shot by him, just excellent defense. I knew if I could catch him in a front headlock, I could score. Mm -hmm. He was a little bit shorter than me. Oh, oh, what, what we got? I tried to shuck by, right. go uh, out of oh. bounds. I knew where we were. Okay, boom, go out of bounds. Live the fight another day, we're neutral. <laughs> 31 seconds on the clock. If I would have stayed on my toes and if I wouldn't hit my head, that would have been a whole lot better. But I caught myself reaching. That was a mm -hmm. mistake. There you go. Tries to shut me by. Hit that shuck. Boom. Front headlock. I missed this back foot and it slips out of my hands. But luckily, this other foot I caught. That's there, my there it is. There. Oh. And then I walked this cradle in. Boom, two. Excellent call by the official. Excellent move on your part. You, you don't know how to feel right here. I can, I can imagine. It's just, it's just a weird feeling. You don't have to share what you said because that's between you and him. But um, I told him, you know, I, know, I love you like a brother. Right. I wish we both could have one. You're mm -hmm. one hell of a wrestler. That's, that's awesome. So you end up winning overtime, five to three. Boom, boom, <laughs> put, the, put the guns in the holsters, a little bit of a flex. That's awesome. Raise your hand. It's an amazing feeling. And Coach Matney has a tradition of, had a tradition, let me say it like that, of when a wrestler won, he would pick them up, carry them to their family, carry them off the, off the mat area, and 
we have video of your dad doing that, and I think everybody in the crowd, especially the John Central fans or people even from – or that knew Coach Matt and knew what he'd done, they were expecting that. When you turn around and you see Dad doing this, knowing what he's wanting to do, just kind of walk us through that. Um, if you can. Yeah, I walk over there, I shake the coach's hand, I turn around, I see Dad, and it's like, I can finally do it now. I can, I can finally run and jump to him and carry him off the mat. But um, I, there were just so many emotions and excitement, so many feelings running through my head that and it was, it was awesome. It was an awesome experience. I can, I can only imagine. <laughs> and sharing it with your dad especially. So Reese, let's put a bow on this one. You validated your entire high school career in an overtime win against a good friend of yours from the school that you, you come from. Suffered an absolutely tremendous loss. You were able to say, Dad doesn't have one up on me now. <laughs> Had your dad give you any advice as far as being in the state championship? We haven't talked about that. Because your dad, so, uh, in 91, wrestled a brutal... Uh, he wrestled to six minutes. Then he wrestled a complete full overtime. I think he ended up winning by one point in 91 against the guy that beat him in 1990. He gets to the championship, and I think he wins it like 10 to nothing, if I'm not mistaken. Did he say any piece of advice that he'd never told you before before this match? Um, you know, um, in the back room before I wrestled, I went and said my prayer. Um, I came back, and uh, I looked at him, and he had his shoes off. And you know, he's standing the kind of way like this. He's going to be mad I said this, but we go back in there, and, you know, we have our talk, and... Um, he said, listen, he said, if I give you anything right now, he said, don't do it for me. Don't do it for me. You don't have to look up to me. He said, do it for yourself. So hearing that from my dad, and, you know, a lot of people are like, you're going to be as good as your dad was. You're going to be as good as your dad was, you know. But he said, don't listen to them. He said, be you, do you. So win this for yourself. So That's, that's, a, that's a good way to end the video. Reese, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Reese is... Going to be wrestling at Kent State. Keep up with him. Keep up with him uh, on the Kent State page next season. It'll be the 2022-2023 season. We'll see you guys on the mats.